Thanks for being here. I'm John Erickson with your NBC 26 News Update. And an update on COVID numbers in the Badger State. And the DHS said the number of cases reported would be higher as they improved their reporting system. And say people should look at the seven-day average, which smooths out daily fluctuations. With more backlogged cases being added into the system, they reported more than 35,000 new cases today. That's more than the population of Manitowoc. Our seven-day average, though, of new cases per day is now just under 18,000. And because of a surge in COVID patients, ThetaCare is now delaying all non-urgent elective surgeries across its seven hospitals. There are nearly 95 COVID patients admitted in ThetaCare hospitals right now, the highest levels the system has seen throughout the pandemic. ThetaCare, though, will continue emergency and time-sensitive surgeries. Looking outside, a safety reminder for tomorrow as the U.S. Coast Guard will be running ice-breaking operations in the waters of the Bay of Green Bay and into Escanaba. So the Coast Guard says that ICE users should plan their activities carefully, use caution, and stay away from the ice-breaking area. Well, time now for a check of our weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron? John, after some light snow tomorrow morning, we get a January thaw. Most areas that see the snow won't see much. However, well north of Green Bay, two to three inches can't be ruled out. Colder weather behind that system for Wednesday and Thursday. Teens on Wednesday, single digits on Thursday. Morning lows will be well below zero. We warm up on Saturday, 22 for a high. Kickoff temperature right around 13. Any snow should be out of here by kickoff. Light snow and then colder again for Sunday and Monday of next week. Have a great night.